Uh, just a quick update. I was tweaking that Gravaflyer Tesla driver board again so that we could get the maximum power with the absolute minimum number of components. And I would say this is it. Uh, these are snubber capacitors, which aren't required, but recommended. And this is just an LED indicator. So this whole circuit here, the entire driver, is just two MOSFETs, four diodes, and a center tap inductor, which you could also use two separate inductors, and it works perfectly fine. I've got one already set up over here and plugged into the power supply. And to show you what we have going on here, the output wire from the secondary coil is passing through this 40 watt incandescent filament lamp and then terminating on this three and a half inch hard disk platter just being used as a top load. So uh, what this is gonna show us is that under various loading conditions, this thing will crank the power. I'm now going to bring it up to 8.4 volts. It will operate very nicely up to 16 volts. But if you just wanted to use a two cell LiPo battery, it works great off that. So uh, here we are, 8.3, 8.4 volts, drawing about 1.4 amps idle. But if I give it a bit of a capacitive loading, check this out. Boom, that is full illumination past 40 watts. So we are passing more than 40 watts through this incandescent 40 watt bulb now. And uh, you can see we're drawing quite a bit of power now, 8.2 volts at 6.7 amps. And so the rest of that energy is actually going into the dielectric field above and around this top load disc. And if I bring my fingers a little too close, no arcing, um, I can feel the heat from that dielectric field. So. A lot of the energy is being radiated out, but it's quite surprising just how much current is actually being passed out of that secondary coil. And it looks like the super simplified driver with the minimum components, it can work pretty darn well being stripped down like this. So it looks like we might have a winner. I would say that about sums it up. I'll be pumping out those schematics once I verify that the driver board is not having any problems with various super cheap MOSFETs.